If you're a student on rotation, you're probably wondering, how do I crush everything that's in front of me, including the shelf, the clinical evals, and staff? Let me tell you how I use Amboss to do just that. I'm Yusuf. I'm a fourth year medical student at UT Health San Antonio. I did pretty well throughout medical school, and to do that, I had to work my butt off to honor my rotations and get the kind of shelf and step scores that allowed me to even dream of applying to dermatology. There are two main things that a clerkship student needs to focus on in order to do well, clinical evaluations and the shelf scores. As far as the clinical evaluations go, they are pretty subjective, but if you're professional, courteous, and nice to everybody else, and most importantly, if you kill your presentations with concise, accurate, and thorough patient case presentations, you're likely to impress everybody around you. As a med student, your team is often so busy that the only time their undivided attention is on you is during your presentation. So it's really critical that you put your effort into that every single day. But in order to build a great presentation, you kind of have to know before you even walk into the patient's room, what questions are you gonna ask them? What exams are you gonna do? And what's your assessment and plan gonna look like? Here's how I used Amboss to deliver honors-worthy presentations every single time and impressed my attendings. Pre-rounding is essential to having all the information before you start presenting your patients. Let me show you how I did it. Before I would even walk into the patient room, I would pull out the Amboss app on my phone and read up on a diagnosis, if we already had a diagnosis, or if it was my job to come up with one, just their chief complaint. And I could read through that article and figure out what the clinical features were so I knew what questions to ask. I'd also see what exams I would need to do in order to have a thorough presentation. And finally, see what assessment and plan would look like for this chief complaint or this diagnosis. Every rotation and even every attending have a different preference for what they want in their notes. Using the Amboss clerkship guides, I'm able to figure out a good example of a note for each rotation. Having a strong assessment and management plan is where most students struggle, but it's the most essential component of proving that you know what you're talking about on rounds. I used the Amboss flowcharts and clinical checklists in order to make sure that I knew exactly what we needed to do for all my patients. And that's how I secured the strong comments and great evals from all of my attendees. When I first started using Amboss, I actually felt more confident in my ability to give a good presentation, handle more patients in the same morning. Plus, I was able to sleep in just a little bit longer every morning while still doing the same amount of work because I was so much more efficient. Are you still with me? Even after everything in the clinic or the hospital, you still do have to study hard in order to score high on the shelf exams if you want to honor. These shelf exams are hard. Every single time I was taking one, I felt like I was in a mini step exam. So it was really important to me that I took it seriously. That means taking advantage of any downtime that you have to crank out your Anki cards or do your practice questions whenever, wherever you can, especially if you want to have time to do anything else. At the very beginning of every rotation, I would divvy up the number of questions in Amboss related to that rotation and see how many days I would have to do those questions and make sure I was going to be able to finish them before the shelf. For me, that meant doing practice question sessions on my phone, sometimes in the hospital, maybe there's some downtime throughout the day or at the gym, and same thing with Anki. I'd be doing Anki in between sets or on the treadmill. The nice thing about the Amboss add-on on Anki is that it actually works on mobile unlike most others. So I never felt like I was losing anything if I did my Anki on mobile versus doing it on my laptop or my computer at home. I also made sure to redo anything that Amboss told me I was struggling with so that I could get those necessary points in order to score well on the shelves. And it worked. I ended up honoring all of my rotations and built a really strong foundation for step two. I also actually ended up having time left over every day to do other things. That's what I've got. I hope that my experience can help you honor your rotations too while you take full advantage of Amboss.